and welcome this is baller scuba with let's play final fantasy 3 let's go ahead and get this started oh we do have a little bit of dialogue here the golgan thus prophesized the earthquake was only the beginning the great tremors that swallowed the crystals that light of our world only to spawn monsters from the depths of the scarred land yeah, before this, apparently there were no monsters. Are nothing but harbingers of what has yet to come. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. Basically, there was an earthquake and now there's monsters. There's no real intro cutscene to this, even though I would love there to be. We just get this. We get a character falling down a hole. What have you gotten yourself into indeed? This is Lunith, apparently, but I don't like that name. An orphan raised by Nina and Elder Topapa in the village of Ur. Adventurous by nature, his curiosity gets the better of him as he tumbles into a hole created by the Great Earthquake. And his name is Abel, by the way, because Abel's awesome. So let's go ahead and get this started. Abel, wh where are you going? I cannot control this at all. All right, so we got our first enemies. These are uh, these are goblins, actually. Let's take a look at the battle system. You can attack, as always. You can use magic. Uh, looks very similar to Final Fantasy One's magic system, but we don't have any magic right now. Uh, you can guard, of course, uh, which is a defense. You can use items. We don't have any. And there's more down here. You can change your equipment. That does not waste your turn. And you can go to the rear. There are two rows, front and rear, in this battle system. And then, of course, you can run away if you want to. I just want to attack. Just pick a random goblin. Probably doesn't matter which one I hit. One hit, and they're gone. One hit acquittals, as you might expect, to start the game. The game likes to be a little bit nicer to you than other games that I have played when you start them. Oh my god, there were some that, oh, they're just like, oh, you want to get into a battle? Hope you brought more than two potions. But this one, this one takes it very nicely. And our first little victory screen, I guess you could say. Uh, you get 30 gil, 3 experience, and that's it. Those weren't monsters! Were they uh, real monsters? Yes, it is not the safest place to be. No, no it's not. Okay, uh, nothing down here. So we just need to head up a little bit and we do find a treasure chest over here with a leather shield. Let's open up our menu and equip that immediately on Abel. Sounds good. Sounds good. Go over here, get a potion. Surely that will come in handy. And we get another battle with another goblin. I would normally cut this out, but this is just going to go by so fast. And hopefully we can get a level up screen because of this. Oh, nice little spin move, Abel. Nicely done. What do we get this time? Ten gil. One experience. No level up, though. Every time you do an action, though, it also gives you a job point uh, whenever you do an action in battle. But we'll go over jobs eventually. I don't know if you saw it in the menu, but Abel is a freelancer. A level 1 freelancer. Well, in the original game they were known as Onion Knights, uh, but in this game they changed it to Freelancer because Onion Knights didn't really translate into to English the way the Japanese had intended. Over here we get a treasure chest. This one has a long sword, which we will definitely equip. Now. You might notice a little setup that I've got going here for the recording. It's basically just going to put the top screen on top of the bottom screen. There are other methods I could use to do that, but this game uses both screens a lot. So I'm just going to keep it the way that it was intended to be seen. And unfortunately that means there's going to be a lot of black space on the screen a lot. But there's really no setup that's, that's going to avoid that that I want to see. We do have new enemies this time. We have a carbuncle and a blue wisp. Let's go for the carbuncle first now that we have the longsword. 13 damage is for the win. Down goes the carbuncle. A critical hit does 3 damage by the blue wisp. Alright, 
Can we take this out with one hit too? No! It's going to take a couple more. And Abel's starting to get a little bit low on health. That's okay. You don't need to worry too much about that because this is the first dungeon, right? 15 gil. I think that's a 6. 6 experience. Job level up. Potion. So, yeah, job level up. Not a regular level up. Let's take a look at our menu just a bit. Yeah, yeah you can't see it. See, look, it still says level 1. Uh, but, yes. Technically, Abel is now a freelancer. Level 2. But still level 1 for everything else. Chest contained a potion. Awesome. We get another battle. Probably with the same enemies. No, we do have a new enemy once again. That's an eye fang. Let's go for the carbuncle first, because we know we can take this out with one shot. Down it goes. Eye fang! That is a very strange attack that you have there. Do a little spin move for 13 damage, and down goes the eye fang. What do we get? 12 kill, 5 experience, no level up. Still, still no level up. You would expect level 1 to be a lot easier to get out of. You get another potion out of this chest, head to the right. Now I know there are no new enemies here, so let me cut out the rest of these battles. And it looks like Abel did gain a level! This is the little screen, she does the same little jump for the job level um, that she did before. She only does one jump even if... Sorry, did my calendar? Sh wow. Sorry, it is not a she, it is a he. I'm sorry. Why am I doing that? Okay, so we got an Ar Antarctic wind in there as well, and over here we find some very nice looking water. Very shiny water. A wellspring of mystifying colors. I said, we look inside. And we got a full HP and MP restoration. Not that the MP is useful to us because we have no magic. Alright, let's move Abel forward. He needs to get to the next level. And up here, what does he find? Nothing. This doesn't look good. What is it? What do you see? What's that? An evil creature attacks Abel! And in comes... Holy crap! Okay, this is the land turtle. Now, an, a really easy way of defeating this boss is to use the Antarctic winds. I am not going to do that. I'm going to try to do this the legitimate way. And just attack until he dies. 13 damage there, 4 damage on Abel. And we're just going to go back and forth like this. Hopefully, Abel can knock this guy out. I might need to use a potion, but that's okay. Especially with that leather shield on, it does help out. Leather shield and longsword, if you don't have those equipped, you, well, you better be using the Ar Antarctic Winds to take out of this guy. The Antarctic Winds is a one-time use only in, uh, in battle, and it casts uh, Blizzara, I believe. Another 16 damage. Uh-oh, 5. Alright, uh, one more attack. Come on, Abel. You can make it! Twelve more. Four more damage. Item, potion, we got four of them. Use one on yourself. That was close. Probably shouldn't have risked it. But yeah, it, it, it gives you 50 health. He's only got 39. So I, I kind of want to waste it to, at the last possible moment. I don't want to use it and then have to use another one. Another 16 damage, and down goes the land turtle. Nicely done, Abel. What do we get for our hard-earned battle? 500 guild, 20 experience, level up, job level up. Everything is coming up, Abel, I guess you could say. What is it? What do you see? You have been chosen! Uh, what? I have no idea, Abel! Warrior from the land of darkness, you have been chosen as the bringer of hope! What? 
what are you talking about? Oh snap, there's a crystal. The crystal is talking to me. Yes, yes it is, Ayo. Darkness is threatening to engulf the world. When light is lost, the equilibrium will be no more. What are you talking about? There are others who share your destiny. You must seek them out. Once you find them, I will bestow upon you our last light, our last hope. Now go. What? I don't understand either. What is going on? And... Apparently we were warped out of the, the dungeon or the hole or wherever it was. Where are we now? I'm back on the surface. What was that? Light, darkness, our last hope. What was that all about? I don't know. The game just started. Now, I think this is a glitch in my little game here. And that you can't actually see the sprite on the map. You can see that blackness there. I think it's actually supposed to be rendered out, but apparently those didn't load properly. Let's head right back into the cave, because why not? This is the altar cave, and as you can see, it looks a little bit different now. So, here's the dead end, right? No. That's our first secret passage of the game. It will not be our last. We get a leather cap and bronze bracers. Let's go ahead and equip those right away, because we've got further to go. Leather cap. Defense up by one. Defense up by one with the bronze bracers as well. So let's... Get into a battle! Do we have any new enemies? N no, but we do get the introduction to back attack here. As you can see, the goblin gets his first turn, and he does crap. So let's just finish this guy off. Why not? You do a little bit less damage when you're in the back row. And if you start in the front row, and it's a back attack, then you end up in the back row. It's just how the game works. You know, your whole party will be backwards, pretty much. Alright, so through that little secret passage. This game's gonna have a lot of them, I can tell you that right now. Lots of secret passages in this game. Is that the hole you fell down? Like seriously, this one right here? Abel. Abel, seriously. Like when I'm not controlling you... Ugh. Whatever. We get bronze knuckles in there. Another long sword. Oh wow, there's a lot of treasure in here. More bronze bracers. Sleep. So we actually got the, the spell sleep in there. And another long sword. Now all this was optional. You don't have to come back in here. But you get a lot of loot. And you get a little bit of experience. Not too much, but a little bit. And nothing here really damages you for all that much. So I think it's worth the trip heading down here. Heading back inside. Nothing too difficult that... Well, that you haven't seen already. Nothing hard at all. But we'll have to make our way out of the cave and to civilization, I guess? Maybe? Next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Abel, who is the only member of our party. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.